In our previous videos, we had already started on how to implement an electronic project from scratch. This is the third video in that series. I have already explained regarding few basic things. That is the overall introduction I had given. I had also explained what is a sensor. And finally, in this video, I am going to explain what is an actuator. Actuator is basically the output device in any electronic project. It is something that is used to perform the action. For example, in the street light projects that I have already explained, the actuator is nothing but the light bulb. That is automatically, whenever the light is going down in an area, the street light have to switch on. In that case, the actuator is the street light. It does the action as instructed by the control device. But what's this control device? I have already mentioned there is an interfacing circuit between the sensor in the automatic street light. The sensor is nothing but the light sensor and the actuator. So that circuit is nothing but the control device. Now coming to commonly available type of actuators, the light bulb itself, that's an actuator. So light bulbs are available in several categories. First of all, the AC light bulb, then the LEDs are available and also bulbs are available in several sizes and shapes. All these comes under the actuator category. Now our second commonly available actuator is nothing but a water pump. So where this actuator is used? In the previous video I had mentioned regarding an automatic irrigation system. That is whenever the moisture content in the soil is going down, water need to be sprinkled. In such a case, the sensor used was a moisture sensor and this one will be the actuator that we will be using. That is the water pump. It can also be used in an automatic fire detection and prevention system. So how to do that? In the previous video, in the sensors video, I had told regarding something known by the name a gas sensor. So if the gas sensor is detecting smoke in a room, that means their fire is there. So basically using a pump, we can sprinkle water and we can turn off this fire. And our next actuator is nothing but a motor. Motors are available in several different categories. But over here, I'm just explaining regarding a normal DC motor. So DC motor is something that will be working on a battery. So here you can see, this is a DC motor with a gear mechanism over that. So this is the actual motor and this part is the gear mechanism. And here whatever you can see is a wiper motor. In your car, a water wiping mechanism will be there. So that wiper is operated by this type of motor. Now next actuator, that is again a commonly available type of actuator is nothing but a buzzer. A buzzer is used for sounding an alarm. So where all we need to sound alarms in projects? Example, an automatic parking system. So whenever you are reversing your car and the car's bumper is just near to an obstacle, an alarm need to be sound so that you can prevent colliding your car with the obstacle. In such a case, we'll be using this type of buzzer in order to sound that alarm. So that's all in this video. In the next video, I'll be explaining regarding the interfacing circuits and how to make projects based on that. Thank you.